picks up with a bobcat and just piles up and he picks it up with a bobcat and he feeds it to a beep cat. So I'll speed it up a little bit here. Does it have to be dry before you can store it? Yeah. You're saying seven percent is kind of the optimum moisture. Well, seven percent doesn't spoil. So if you've got it stored in a grain bin, you see at seven percent, you know, you won't have to worry about it spoiling. But it's probably wetter than that when it comes out. Well, there's more. You know, you've taken the oil out, and actually, the wetness that you see on there is moisture. And in a matter of probably a minute, it'll get dry because it's drying off just as it sits. Like the soybean came out, you know, it was soft, and now it's brittle. And it's only been there for a short period of time. So Ben LeDuc has got 10 of these presses. He's up by Highway 64. He's doing non-GMO soybeans, and he's got 10 presses. They run 24-7. Now he's using flex augers to feed it. So he's got the 10 presses in a, in a row with a like it looks like four or five inch PVC on the flex auger. He's got three sensors. He says he doesn't really need three, two's enough. So whenever one of the, two of the sensors go low, the auger kicks on and fills it up. And so he's got basically a, a reservoir of, you know, let's say a couple gallons worth of stuff, you know, above every, every mill or every, you know, press. And every, you know, maybe every, uh, you know, five minutes, the auger kicks on and runs for, you know, a minute and shuts off. And then the oil just has got a long trough. The oil goes one direction, and the, the meal drops into an open auger. And it's carried for a short distance, and then it goes up an auger and into another tapered bottom grain bin and stored. So it dries, en it dries enough in that short auger path that he doesn't have any trouble. Is there any, I mean, there's got to be some moisture inside that oil there. That would settle to the bottom. It would? Yeah. And then do you use any sort of desiccants, or the folks that do this, do they ever put any desiccants in there to try to take that out and separate it, or no, just let it? No, it, it, it's kind of interesting. Uh, the guy that's doing the, uh, the non-GMO soybeans, he's basically had a centrifuge, he was trying to, you know, clean the oil up. So he's leasing that oil to, to restaurants as French fry oil. So leasing it to him. Yes. <laughs> and so he, what's, he, he was using a centrifuge, but he said it was too slow. So his new method is he pumps off the top of a tank, so it's, it's settled already again, and 